But some code is too difficult to write automation for to get the return on investment that you'd want out of it. Some code is too unimportant to write automation for in that it's never going to return you revenue and the likelihood of it triggering a bug or a critical defect is very, very low. What you want to do is use a risk-based approach to guide you towards providing coverage for the most important parts of the software. You acknowledge that you never have time to cover everything and that the state of everything is constantly under change. You can let go of this arbitrary goal of 100% code coverage and focus on what the revenue wants, what the money wants, what your CEO is the most interested in. That's how you can attain the right level of coverage for the risk model that you are embracing.